welcome back to another episode of What the Smart. Thank you guys so much for joining me once again for another ridiculous review. I really appreciate it. Um, if you are new here, hi, my name is Candace, and I review all things smutty. Well, really not all things because my catalog's not very varied at the moment, you know what I mean? Gotta, gotta get some more authors in here. But um, today, uh, I am going to be reviewing for you guys the first book in Cressley Cole's uh, Arcana Chronicles, Arcana, Arcana, whatever. Disclaimer, these are considered young adult fiction novels. So if you're looking for the raunchy raunch, it's not going to be in these books. I don't think so. No. So this is the first book in her uh, Arcana Chronicles, which are um, kind of like apocalypse, post-apocalypse type books, right? So I will show you guys the cover. Spoiler. Before you come for me, look at this mess right here. Look at it. It's tragic. I bought this book used from my local secondhand type store. Uh, it's called Second and Charles. I don't know if you guys have that from wherever you're watching from. Um, but I paid, uh, I don't know, like $6 and change for this book. It's hardcover. Um, but unfortunately, the sticker's been on there for so long, or maybe it's just the type of material they use, but the sticker is fucking stuck. I can't get it off. I'm afraid I'm going to damage the the what the hell is this thing called slip cover or whatever you want to call it um so I stopped messing with it because I have no nails as you can see I pick all my nails off because I'm a nervous fucking wreck all the time uh so I just left it alone so we're just gonna have to deal with that just gonna have to deal with it I'm probably gonna use one of the thumbnails that I took where I was trying to peel the just just little anyway um, so this is the cover sans ugly sticker, uh, that I have. There is another cover for this book and I think it's the paperback version, which I will show up here. If you would prefer to have that cover, I believe that's for the paperback, the ma maybe mass market or like the large paperbacks. Cause I think they came out large paperback. I have some of the other ones from this series in the large paperback. I don't know if they were ever like mass market, tiny little regular oh my god did you guys hear that my wrist just popped i am so old and falling apart we're not going to talk about it um this book has 386 pages mm -hmm. um at least that's for that's what it lists on amazon i don't know this particular one i guess because it's big it has because it's big <laughs> you sicko uh it has 369 pages so this ebook is actually currently free to read with Kindle Unlimited. If you have Kindle Unlimited, if you don't know what Kindle Unlimited is, it is a monthly subscription service offered through Amazon for people who have Kindles. I believe it's like $9.99 a month. And it's kind of like a virtual library where you can check out a certain number of books. And as you read them, you just return them back to Kindle or wherever back into the stratosphere, wherever the fuck they go. And uh, then you can just check out more. So I think the limit is like 10 books. And I think you can pay for them uh, for Kindle Unlimited, like either by the month or every six months or every nine months or 12 months or whatever, like for the year. And you'll get like a little discount. It's not much. Like I thought it might be like with Prime where you pay for the whole year and you're saving yourself like 30 bucks now. It's like four dollars you say five dollars something like that if you pay for the whole year up front so this last video i was scared i was like oh my god i've been paying by the month i'm getting legit molested but no only a little bit molested like five dollars molested so um free to read with kindle unlimited if you want to purchase the ebook for this it is available for kindle and nook for the price of 9.99 which it's kind of pricey if you ask me, but it's just my opinion. Uh, you can get the paperback, which I believe comes with the other cover. 
Um, whether it's mass market size or large, I'm not sure, but you can get that new on Amazon for $10.83. And you can get this cover as well as the other cover used on eBay for about $4.50 with free shipping. So dealer's choice, whatever you want to do. So this is book one in the Arcana Chronicles. There are, I believe, six books already published for this series. I don't think the series is over because I know a lot of people have been posting online waiting for Cressley's next books in both this series and the Immortals After Dark series, which if you're not familiar with, you can go back um, some of my previous videos. I did re start reviewing that series as well. Um, but there are six books included in the series that are already published that you can buy now. And this being the first, Poison Princess uh, is the name. I don't know if I ever said the name. Did I say the name in the beginning of this video? <laughs> Candace, please. Get your shit together, please. Note to self, get your shit together, okay? Uh, Poison Princess is the first book. Um, the second book is Endless Night, and that's spelled night like knight in shining armor. <laughs> uh, Dead of Winter, Day Zero, Arcana Rising, and The Dark Calling. Those are the books that have currently been released that you can buy right now. Um, so the blurb for this book, um, I'll go ahead and read it and then we'll discuss it a little bit. Is it really a discussion if it's just me talking and you listening? So I'm going to read the blurb and then I'm going to talk at you for about 12 minutes um, about the book and we'll go from there. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to read the blurb from the back because it is pretty short and it doesn't give a whole bunch of information about it. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll read both. I do have it printed out here of what the book is about. So the uh, blurb that's listed on Amazon says 16 year old Evangeline Evie Green leads a charmed life until she begins experiencing horrifying hallucinations. When an apocalyptic event decimates her Louisiana hometown, killing everyone she loves, Evie realizes her hallucinations were actually visions of the future. And they're still happening. Fighting for her life and desperate for answers, she must turn to her wrong side of the Bayou classmate, Jack DeVoe. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce that, DeVoe. If I'm wrong, put it in the comments below. Thank you. Um, with his mile long rap sheet, wicked grin, and bad attitude, Jack is like no boy Evie has ever known. Even though he once scorned her and everything she represented, he agrees to protect Evie on her quest. She knows she can't totally trust Jack. If he ever cast that wicked grin her way, could she possibly resist him? As Jack and Evie race to find the source of her visions, they meet others who have gotten the same call. An ancient prophecy is being played out, and Evie is not the only one with special powers. A group of teens has been chosen to reenact the ultimate battle between good and evil, but it's not always clear who is on which side. Okay, so that's a blurb from Amazon. Um, I'll read the blurb from the back of the actual book and see if it garners any additional information. I don't know. Uh, it says the characters on tarot cards are real. The Huntress, the Fool, Death, the Lovers, and 18 other major arcana all exist. These warriors, femme fatales, magicians, and devils each have uniquely lethal powers. And they're coming for me. To survive, I'll have to embrace my own terrifying abilities. But if Jack ever beholds what I truly am, will he abandon me to my fate? Okay, so obviously the blurb on the back of the actual book uh, is from the POV of the main female character, Evie. Um, the main characters in this book are Evie and Jack. Um, there are other characters that are introduced uh, throughout the book that you will see in later books. Um, but the main heroine of the entire series overall, I believe, is Evie. Um, so these books... I don't read a lot of apocalyptic series. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it kind of borders the line of like where it crosses the threshold from romance novel into just like fiction or fantasy fiction. Um, there's probably a crap ton of books out there that 
probably like straddle that line and have a little bit of both like these um, that I'm missing out on because I'm a crabby old lady and I'm afraid of change. But uh, this book does have um, not necessarily what I would call sex scenes, but like, you know, there's there's flirting, there's uh, angsty type, you know, it's all it's almost like, you know, those college romances or those like high school bully romance novels, kind of like that. So the premise of these books is that um, an apocalyptic event happens and there are only a certain number of people that have been left alive. These people are the majority are like teenagers uh, and each one of them that they meet along the way or that Evie and Jack meets along the way that are around the same age are the embodiment of a tarot card. One of the major tarot cards, the major arcana or whatever, however you want to pronounce that. Um, so Evie is, uh, what the hell is she? The Enchantress? Something like that? I forget. Anyway, uh, so Evie is... Ha it comes into these powers post-apocalypse and you know she's now in a fight with the other embodiments of the cards and only one will survive to live until the next apocalypse so it's kind of like they um fight to the death and then if you win you get to live everybody else has to die and the game isn't isn't over until everybody else but one is right so if you've read jenna showalter's gods of war series that just started well it didn't just start there's been two books put out but that's like the adult version of this kind of except for in that series i think that the champions are from different universes or different planets or whatever and they come to earth to battle it out this is just like, hey, Earth's been decimated and y'all are what's left. And now y'all got to duke it out because only one of y'all is going to make it. Right? Um, so here's the, the little twisty in these books is that Evie, along with all of the other characters, are like reincarnations of themselves. So Evie has played this game uh, many times in the past, but she has no memory of her past incarnations or what that incarnation did. Were, was she good in the past life? Was she evil? Like, she doesn't know. So all that comes out throughout the course of this series. Um, and yeah, like I said, I don't read a lot of like apocalypse type novels, but I really, really like these, even though they're considered young adult and there's not a lot of smutty smut smut in there. There's just enough of like the romance element in there to make me want to review it. Or in, in case, make me want to read it. Because I was saying that, that's pretty much all I read is just smut. So. <laughs> um, so for the rating for this book, I will give it an 8.5, an 8.5. I really enjoyed the first book. I really enjoyed the subsequent books in the series. They do um, introduce another male character in the next book that's, well, I mean, he's introduced in this book, but he gets more detailed in, in the next book um, that kind of forms like a love triangle between Evie, Jack, and this guy. I won't give it away, any spoilers. Um, but I really enjoyed the series. I really, I like everything that Cressley Cole writes. There's like a lot of brouhaha going on right now, um, you know, just online about the fact that she hasn't put out a new release in a while. I don't know what's going on. I don't think anybody, anybody really knows what's been going on behind the scenes and why there's been such a delay in publication of her next book in this series, in her Mortals After Dark series, or maybe the first book in a new series. Um, there hasn't really been any posts put out by like her publicist or herself or any of her social media pages. Um, I did hear somewhere in another book group that she was going through some stuff, either, you know, she was really sick or, um, somebody she knew was really sick, uh, or she had an accident or something for like a while. And that's been the cause of the delays for the book. But at the end of the day, like 
I personally love everything she writes. Would I love for her to put out a book tomorrow? Oh yeah, obviously. Um, but am I going to get on social media and trash her for not putting out a book in the last six months or whatever it is? No. And for those of y'all that are doing that, you need to chill the fuck out. Okay. Uh, she'll get to it when she gets to it. And if you're a true super fan, you will wait patiently and nicely and just like zzz, zip it. Okay. So now that I've offended a great number of people. I think my work here is just about done. <laughs> um, thank you so much for joining me for another video. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you like me and you like my channel, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like this video or go back and watch some of my previous videos and like those if you like them. Leave me comments. I super duper love comments. And uh, if you would like to follow me on any of my other social media accounts, I do have a members only Facebook group. I have an Instagram and I have a Twitter and I will link them all in the description box below as well as put a little banner here at the bottom for you to see. They're all listed under variations of what the smut and I would love a follow. I would love for you guys to join me in, on Facebook and just post ridiculous memes and you know, share pictures of dudes with their abs out, whatever floats your boat, okay? Um, I will see you guys in my next video, I guess, okay? I love you, bye! <laughs> oh my god, y'all, oh my god. I've been trying to peel this sticker off for like 20 minutes. Doesn't wanna come off. Doesn't want to come off. <laughs> why you do this? Second and Charles, why you do this? So annoying. <clears throat> All right. Where are we? Where are we? Okay. 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 Adjustment. Um, what's the fucking word I'm looking for? Disclaimer. There you go. Um, this ebook is currently free. What the hell? My kitchen is on the other side of this wall and I'm pretty sure Charlotte's dragging a chair across the kitchen floor because that's what that sounds like. There's just enough of like the romance aspect to make me want to, did I say aspect? Aspect? <laughs> Clickety click, clickety click. Not gonna click cause my remote's dead. <laughs> okay. Can we not talk about this? Can we just pretend like that didn't happen? Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, the whole blurb that I just read is in the inside leaflet of the fucking. <sighs> All right, well. Well. Eh, well. Erez, This hardcover, by the way, retails for $18.99 US dollars. $21.99 Canadian dollars. So I don't think $6 for it used, and it's still in pretty good shape, aside from the fact that there's a fucking sticker stuck to it. Don't get yourself all worked up. It's not worth it. Anyway. Mm -hmm.